Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. And today we're working on my 2020 Jeep Gladiator and we're installing a winch, my squadron fog lights, and then uh, a bumper tube. This one's called the Stubby. Anyways, let's jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. And if you're a long time subscriber, always good to have you back. Right behind me is my 2020 Jeep Gladiator and I'm doing my overlanding build on this Jeep Gladiator right now. I put a couple videos out so far. I have the ditch lights installed, I got the ARE cap installed, and there's some warranty issues on that which I'll address in a separate video. You're going to want to watch that before you buy one of these. And then I've uh, installed some backup lights. But today we're working on the bumper. So everything to do with the bumper, fog lights, uh, new winch, new winch plate. Uh, and then this bumper tube here. I started this video a while ago um, But I had to stop because the the winch mount I got a bulldog winch mount didn't fit correctly So I had to reorder a different one. This is the rugged ridge one. So hopefully it works out So let's jump into installing this this video is going to start a couple days ago So you can see what I did to remove this and then we're going to pick up today so we can get this all done All right, guys, these uh, bumper extensions are off already. Gives it a much more aggressive look, so that's good. Uh, this is all out. Now I actually got to remove the bumper um, so I can put the winch plate in here. And then, oh, I'll check up with like you there. All righty, bumper is off. Pretty damn easy. Now let's get the winch bracket on so we can put the winch on. All right guys, we've reached an important part of the installation, but just a reminder, I'm giving away a $100 Amazon gift card in uh, November. All you gotta do is be subscribed to the channel and comment on a video and you're automatically entered to win. So if you're using the Rugged Ridge winch mount plate, you have to do one modification. You see with the Rugged Ridge plate here, the bumper now is installed about a half an inch forward. And then these brackets that I just removed underneath would also need to move half an inch forward so you could uh, still mount the skid plate there. With that, that means these holes have to have some adjustment in it. So if you look at this image here, they just need to be bored backwards a bit. So I'm just gonna put a drill bit in there and hopefully I can draw back about half an inch on both of them, just straight back and then I gotta do that one too. That way when you're installing um, the skid plate, the factory skid plate, it can uh, actually, the bracket can move forward so you can install that. So let's get to that. I just want to climb on top of a hill and throw it all away, away. Take me far away before my mind spins off and I am on the way. All right, guys, I have done it now. This one I did correctly. I made the holes go backwards towards the welded in nuts there. This one, I got my orientation wrong and I first went down, then I went backwards. So I'm gonna have mega adjustability on this. All right, now we're gonna install this baby in the back there, and then we can bolt everything together. All right, guys, I've loosely put all of these uh, bolts in there. Here's my plate that I had to adjust. You see how it goes front and back those are the reasons for the holes so you can move it forward so that can bolt directly to there because you've gained about half an inch here so that's the reason I've done that on both sides now we can tighten everything down and put the winch on all right guys this is installed ten times more beefy than that one it's got the bottom brace it's got uh, four bolt mounting instead of two bolt also talked to someone online, they had a hard time with this uh, Bulldog one. It's a lot of money, it's 200 bucks. This is 200 and I think 25 bucks, so don't do what I did and buy two of them. Um, yeah, so this one's much better, and then you don't have to drill more winch holes. These ones actually work. That one, the winch holes weren't in the right place, at least for the worn Xeon 12S Platinum. Now this is a tight fit, that's why I got the blue tape here. It was scratching up a bit. It is somewhat touching, can't really do much about that. Uh, this is the biggest winch you can get for the, for the Jeep, so that's life. 
but if you don't want it to get scratched up just tape it up a bit alrighty now let's see what the next steps are so we can put everything back together so everything is a straightforward install um, right now I have got the bumper and we are going to accessorize if you will the bumper before I put it back on because it's going to be easier uh, we've got to remove the front plate bracket then I'm going to put the Baja Designs lights on then I'm going to put my uh, bumper tube right here and that will actually help me with the handle to put this into position so let's get that done let's accessorize so we can put it back on all right so I've installed one of the Baja Designs lights if you just take a look right here I'll show you what the OEM light looks like that's uh, it it just mounts right there with two bolts so it's pretty easy I have assembled the next one so it does it comes all unassembled and obviously it comes with a bracket that is made for your truck so assemble it all it's simple these two uh, bolts come out here and this just bolts directly in then they include a clip to go into your wiring harness from the Baja designs to the stock wiring harness so let's get this installed Keep trying to get All right, well, the Baja Designs Amber Fog Lights are on. Um, I must say, I'm not too happy with this gap here, but it is what it is. Now I'm gonna install this baby, then onto the license plate holder, as well as the, whatever that thing is called on the front. I keep trying to get assembled the bumper completely um, minus the flap that comes down to cover the license plate but I will do that when the bumper is on right now I'm gonna take a mid uh, what's it called mid work cleanup here I've used a lot of different tools I like to do this all the time if you guys been following me for a while I use uh, the sonic tool system which helps me keep my tools all organized um, so I'm just gonna put all the tools back because when I put the bumper on I'm finding myself looking for tools now that I know I have out so it's better just to clean up so I can uh, find these tools easier then I can put the bumper on and it will be a much quicker and simpler e uh, install so I'm gonna do that and then I'll check back with you when we put in this bumper on Alright guys, tools are cleaned up. Um, again, if you are new to the channel, this is really what I do. I help you find the best tools for your garage. I've done videos on the Sonic cabinets and tools. Uh, new Age cabinets, the Pro and the Bold. Uh, Omni Wall, this wall organization system. All great tools, so be sure you check those videos out. But now, let's finish this installation. I have got to thread the synthetic uh, rope in here first. Uh, and then I can put the bumper on. I've heard that's easier. And then we can put it all back together, hook up the lights and check it all out. All right guys, if you get a winch with the synthetic cable, you have to install it. Uh, if you get a steel cable, it's already installed. But basically you take this wire here and you thread it through the loop there. You stick the wire through this little hole and then you use leverage to pull it out. Now that it's out, you want to remove this wire and then you want to jam this key in here with the lobe facing inside and make sure it's completely in this loop uh, and touching the metal and then you yank on the, this side of the rope and it jams the key in there then the winch uh, line is fully installed so I'm gonna do that uh, I don't have the winch wired yet so I'm gonna wait for the last uh, step once this is all done to actually wire the winch so let's get to that all right now that that is done uh, one thing I forgot to mention is make sure you put that on first the rope protector because it can't fit over the, the head of the rope there so now I'm gonna put the bumper on this chair run all this cable through the hole lift the bumper up and install it and hopefully everything goes smooth Alrighty guys, 
bumper is on. I'm gonna tell you if you're putting on this uh, 112 Xeon Platinum, there is not a lot of space to do the internal bolts on the bumper here. That took me about an hour. Luckily I have a wife with tiny hands so she could fit in there because I could not. Um, and then I've run the wire. Let me show you what I've done here. So both the positive and the negative go in right above here. And then I've managed to fish them out right um, by the battery here. And then connect it directly to the positive and the negative. About a couple days ago on uh, Facebook, I asked the question if anyone uses a fuse on um, on winches and everyone just about laughed at me and said there's no such thing as a fuse that big. Uh, sure, they are fuses that big because I have them, but I'm gonna do a battery shut off here, a manual shut off. I'm just not gonna wire it now because I've got a lot more wiring to do. And the reason for that is just to make sure uh, if there is a short or if you don't get in a crash and everything starts smoking, uh, hopefully I can open this and just shut off that if these uh, wires get pinched. And then it's also just the safe. I'll always leave it off unless I need it on. I am going to uh, reel this in. I technically want to do it under pressure, but I will just give it uh, as much pressure as I can by hand. Um, that way I can get all that mess up. So let's quickly do that and put on the windshield. All right guys, well here are the three Factor 55 hooks I, I uh, purchased so I have three winches my wife's uh, car the back of the camper and then uh, my Jeep Gladiator so I decided I would get all different ones so I could you know hopefully do a review for you guys one day on it but for now we're gonna go with the Mega Boy the ultra hook here and uh, let's put it on and see how it looks I'm not going to install I've got these uh, rope guards here uh, to make sure this rope doesn't get sun damaged or even just damaged um, while off-roading. But I'm not going to install them now. I'm just going to do this and see how it looks. Final step. Well, there you have it, guys. My complete front end overhaul. Let's take a look at what we have. We have the Baja Designs fog lights. I removed the extra fender here. We put on a worn Xeon 12S Platinum with the Factor 55 Ultra hook. Uh, I have the, the license plate cover here that's going to make sure no one steals this baby. Then we also put on this worn uh, bar right here. Looking good. Well guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. Be sure you leave your comments below. Let me know what you think of this new setup. There's still a bunch more projects to do on the Jeep Gladiator. So be sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Thank you.